If you've ever watched Omelette on YouTube, you know he's done the Pocket SSB receiver, new firmware, and um, talked about that. And the firmware was version 28. Now I have these nice orange cases, which for whatever reason seem like they're 3D printed much better. And uh, that one's got the version 28, and it's got the straight antenna. This one's got the loop antenna and is still running the original firmware that came with the radio, which I did not like, and the update is so much better. But now you have the 3.0, and so I'm going to do that according to the Espresso Flash Downloader shown by Omelette and uh, G8 PTN ATS Mini firmware, there is a new version, a new version. You need this. It is version 0 underscore 30 underscore 8M zip. You need that firmware. And uh, to the right of what you see when you get in there, there's a little download error. Arrow, you got to find that, that arrow, and then you download it. So I have this running on um, a MacBook Air that is actually running Windows software, Windows 10, um, and uh, fighting those updates. Anyway, uh, you want to make sure that not only do you get the uh, correct stuff, but you also need the correct uh, processing to the right. So watch Omelette's video. It's accurate. There's no need for another video um, just yet. And there's so many people doing this that, uh, you know, you can find a bunch of them. All you got to do is put in SI4732 in the YouTube search, and you'll find lots of stuff on this. Now let's talk problems. Six meter band is not represented on this receiver and it should be in all modes because all modes are available on ham radio. Also, still with the version 3.0, also 10 meter does not have FM band. Why not? 